So just driving back from my uh, Foothills Trail through hike ended up being 76.2 miles in about 96 and a half hours. So just a smidge over four days, uh, which is fantastic. Uh, super happy about that. You know, we took our time on the last, on this morning. Um, took our, you know, we got to uh, spend some time at some of the overlooks, um, some of the waterfalls, just uh, enjoying the sights, uh, stopping to smell the roses and weren't too worried about trying to get in under um, that 96 hour mark. We stopped to talk to some people on the trail on the way. As we got closer to uh, Table Rock State Park, all of a sudden we started seeing all kinds of people on the trail, hiking up to see some of the waterfalls. There's a loop at Table Rock State Park, so um, people were very interested in what we were doing, and so we stopped to talk to a number of folks um, and just told them about the Foothills Trail. And it's pretty amazing that people are literally hiking the Foothills Trail and had no idea uh, that it even existed, even though they're on the trail. <laughs> just because it happens to coincide with some of the other trails like the Pinnacle Trail. But that was fun, uh, all of it was fun, all of it was fun. Uh, I know that this started out as a solo backpacking packing trip and uh, even once I met Wes and Matthew, uh, you know, we parted ways at the trailhead. Uh, I, I took off ahead of those guys and it wasn't until day two that we connected and, uh, and we just, we're realizing that we were kind of leapfrogging each other and really we're keeping just about you know a very similar pace and so we just sort of started hiking together and man that was a great decision you know I was glad to not have to not be so uh, hung up or clinging to the notion of it being a solo trip uh, that was just one of the things that I'd wanted to do was a a nice solo backpacking through hike, but you know I've done it. I've done enough solo hiking to know backpacking to know that it's something that I am capable of doing. It's not anything I have to prove to anyone. Um, you know, I did um, start this trip out that way, uh, but really, once we realized that we were that we had a connection uh, in terms of our pacing and in terms of uh, how we philosophy of why we were out there and what we were trying to do, um, it, it really just made sense to, to, to combine forces. Um, you know, we, it's, it's, it's pretty rare that you meet people that want to just wake up, start hiking as soon as possible, and just keep hiking until the sun goes down, and then maybe even a little longer than that. Um, and really that's why uh, we put up some you know, a, a, such a decent pace. Uh, I think we did 14 miles the first day. Uh, we actually, you know, we were not hiking together, but ended up camping, I think, within a half mile of each other, which meant hiking, if you recall, hiking into the night, into the rain. Um, and, uh, you know, that's a special kind of, uh, of insanity there. So, uh, match made in heaven, really. Second day, uh, we connected about midday and then finished up with about 16 miles hiked, but then day three, we did about 18 miles. Uh, day four was 19 miles. And then the fifth morning, about eight and a half miles out. So, uh, couldn't be happier with the outcome of a successful through hike. Uh, started Monday about 1.30, finished about Friday about 2 p.m. The trail was gorgeous. Uh, the trail really has, has a lot to offer. The uh, Chitoga section in the first day and a half is, is amazing. Yeah, I, I really felt like the entire time I was uh, watching a National Geographic special. Um, and then the interior sections, Whitewater Falls, uh, Laurel Falls, uh, Hilliard Falls, those waterfalls and subsequent uh, river, downstream rivers, Whitewater River, uh, all amazing, amazing. Summoning Sassafras was amazing. It's amazing that it takes you that long to have 
uh, it's even, uh, you know, I guess in the summertime, but it's amazing that it takes you 66 miles before you get a single long range view. That is just crazy to me that, that nowhere along that trip do you come around a corner and, and sneak a peek at the foothills. Instead, you wait till you summit the highest point in South Carolina and the highest point on the trail which is fine, it just was crazy. And then uh, coming down from Sassafras, there's a bunch of views that you get to experience. Uh, and then Table Rock State Park is amazing. Uh, the waterfall that you hike along uh, is fantastic. It's like a big uh, slick rock slide all the way down. Um, and uh, there's cool viewing platforms and pools of waterfall that are great spots for family to cool off in the hot weather. Uh, and so there was definitely kids in bathing suits running around, splashing in the waterfalls, which was a shocking departure from what we had just spent the last four days um, doing. Great, great stuff. Uh, great trip. Highly recommended. Uh, hard, hard trail. Not, not hills by any means. Uh, mountains, but you have some views of the foothills. Some great walking. Uh, it was an excellent trip. Uh, super fun. Can't wait to. Uh, would love to do it again. Uh, I don't know that I would do it. In, I don't know that I would do it from uh, east to west. I I really, 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 really enjoyed the direction um, that I went uh, west to east. Um, there were a number of reasons leading that decision. And I think they all paid off in spades. Really enjoyed having the summit, the high point, be on uh, the, the last night on trail. It was a great high point of the trip as well as uh, the week. And I feel like doing that on day one would be a little a bit anticlimactic. Um, also, starting at Oconee, the first 10 miles or so were rather gradual uh, so um, it was a great a great way to warm up uh, for the trail I haven't experienced the trail from east to west but experiencing it as I did from west to east I would absolutely recommend starting at Oconee and heading to Table Rock the westbound uh, direction that's what my research told me and that's what my experience uh, has confirmed there were definitely some sections where I turned around and said, man, I'm glad I'm not going down this section. Or can you imagine if we were going up this right now? Uh, I, I do, f you know, yes, there, for every up, there's a down on the other direction. But I really think that um, the west to east is the way the trail should be experienced. That's my personal opinion. Um, but other than that, um, I can't recommend this trail highly enough if you're ready for it. It will absolutely kick you in the butt if you are not prepared. Um, you have to be, you have to have the stamina to climb mountains every day, all day. Um, they recommend taking between five to even eight days. Um, I saw people talking about 10 days on trail, um, so it's hard, it's hard, um, but if you're going to go at it full force, um, it's doable, it's doable, you can do it, you can do it in a couple of, the, you know, you can do it in a long weekend if you're, if you have a little bit of a, of a crazy gene somewhere hidden inside your, your psyche. Anyway, um, fun hike. I'll see you guys next time.